Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Funko Popcast, the unofficial podcast all about Funko Pops. Yep, there we go. So, I'm your host, I'm Antonio, and we're just going to dive right in. This is going to go through all the different Funko Pops that are set to be released soon that haven't fully been released yet, but we can actually see what they look like, what the boxes look like, and then also going to say, uh, like, go into the uh, exclusives see where you can get these pops and you know just dive right in see all the different kinds of pops that are coming out soon so first pop we get into it's going to be the mini mouse halloween or funko ween in may because uh funko is doing an entire almost halloween set that's come out in may that they just released so we have Minnie mouse here flying on her broomstick and we have mickey mouse as a vampire so we have the two that go together kind of in a set these ones aren't really exclusive to anywhere you could probably get them online and probably gonna have them on the disney shop um probably not gonna be too hard to get these ones they're not gonna be super exclusive they're not gonna be rare um but they are cool ones they're not too bad um personally i don't think i will be picking these up but you know if you love disney enough you can get a huge set of disney stuff I've got my Disney set right up here. All right, going into the next one, we have all the new Haunted Mansions. So we have the maid from Haunted Mansion. We have Constance Hathaway, the normal and the chase edition. Um, I've looked at this one a lot now. I think the only difference between the normal and the chase is that the tombstone she's sitting on has an engraving on it on the chase. I think that's the only difference. I can't notice really anything else. It, I feel like it's kind of a waste of a chase, but um, who knows? Maybe they have uh, something else in line for it. Maybe it's not complete. Then they also have Alexander Nitrokov. I believe I'm saying that right. So they have the normal in the chase for him as well. Normal one is just him standing in his underwear with a nice suit top on. And then the chase one is going to be the exact same pop but him standing on top of a lit uh barrel of dynamite so you guys can see that right there um these ones are pretty cool if you love the haunted mansion and if you've been on the ride at disney definitely a good one to pick up personally i haven't gotten this one i picked up madame leota for my sister because she's a very big haunted mansion fan and i also picked up the uh i can't remember his name now the uh, groundskeeper, that's what it is. Yeah, I was able to get that one from a box launch exclusive. Um, going back into this, now we have the new Disney um, Nightmare Before Christmas set. So we have the new Jack Skellington where he's stretching his mouth, kind of scary people, you know. Um, this one, it doesn't have it as an exclusive but it says that it is available at FYE. So it doesn't say it's available anywhere else, but it doesn't say it's exclusive to FYE. So if you are looking for this and not sure, I'd say maybe check it out on FYE. You can always check online. A lot of times they have the pops in store and online. So you could always pick it up there and then just go in and pick it up from in store. We also have the Sally sewing herself. So this one is going to be another one that is available at FYE, but doesn't say that it's an exclusive. So definitely want to check that one out and see if you're going to try and get the whole set. Might as well just get them all at FYE, buy them online, go in store and pick them up. Definitely a good one. Uh, we have the Two-Faced Mayor. I think this is the first time they've made him as a Funko Pop, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that one's one of my favorites. Then they have a Jack Skellington where it looks like he has a hologram of a spider web on him with... Uh, snowflakes on top of that hologram. Kind of cool. I don't really see. I, I don't feel like this one is that good. Wouldn't personally want me to get this one. Um, this one is also available FYE, not exclusive to it. So again, if you're trying to get that whole set, just go ahead and go to FYE. Next, we have Sandy Claus, where he's missing his hat and has 
some candy corn and a lollipop in his beard and looks kind of scared this one again not exclusive but available fye next we have the jack skellington 10 inch and this is one of the 10 inches that also comes with a, another pop with it it's a little zero pop i believe the zero pop is actually almost the same size as a normal pop so it's basically like getting a 10 inch with a free normal pop inside i think this one's pretty cool if i were to get a 10 inch because i don't have any 10 inches actually right at the moment um that would probably be one that would be cool that one is also available fye by the way not exclusive though next we have the mayor chase where it is the second face if you haven't ever seen the nightmare before christmas the mayor flip-flops he has two different faces with two different personalities it spins around so that uh different faces can talk at different times um so this one is just basically his head spinned around from the original one and then next we have another one of the uh spider web holograms with snowflakes on it this one's darker though and with purple the other one was like white with a light blue um, this one is exclusive to Hot Topic, so if you were trying to get this entire set, you will have to go to Hot Topic to get this one at least. Then next they have Vampire Jack. This one is a glow-in-the-dark version, so his head, his tie or suit, and his hands all glow-in-the-dark. I'll show a picture of the normal pop and the glow-in-the-dark version right up here so you guys can see. This one is exclusive to Walgreens, if you guys couldn't see that in the picture. And next we have Oogie Boogie with his spin wheel uh, from the end of the movie where it's kind of at the climax and Jack has to save Sandy Claus from Oogie Boogie. This one is a really cool one. It's one of like the pop scenes. Um, personally, I like this one a lot. Oogie Boogie is one of my favorite characters. I have an Oogie Boogie pop figure if you guys can tell right there. Yeah, kind of see him. Um, but this one is exclusive to Box Lunch. So if you guys don't have a box lunch around, you might want to check online, maybe get one from uh, box lunch online, have them ship it to you. Not too bad though. And then next we have the Oogie Boogie Diamond Glitter Edition. I believe this is the same Oogie Boogie that I have right up here. It is just, this one's going to be the Diamond Edition. Uh, Hot Topic is uh, traditional to have all those diamond ones. So it's going to have a lot of glitter on it and it's going to shine. Personally, I don't like the Diamond Editions that much. I don't own any of them, so I won't really be picking this one up at all. Next, going into the next set, we have the Disney's Hocus Pocus. They did a lot of Disney Halloween stuff for the Funko Ween. Um, so this one is Sarah Sanderson, her riding a broomstick. Next, we're going to have Winifred Sanderson, her riding a broomstick as well. And Mary Sanderson, all three of them riding a broomstick. All three of these pops are not going to be exclusive to anywhere, so you probably are going to be able to pick them up anywhere. Not going to be really that hard to find. Uh, just going to be common, I'm pretty sure. Next, we have the Invisible Man from uh, Universal Universal Studios um, from movies. It's weird. It says Universal Studios Monsters. So it's all the monsters from Universal Studios that they've made into movies so this one's going to be a walgreens exclusive so this one i don't feel like is going to be too expensive though not going to be too hard to find it's going to be kind of like the uh octo spidey where it might go a little bit up in price than just a normal common but not going to be too bad. next we have the glow in the dark frankenstein from the universal studios monsters as well so this one frankenstein's green head and his hands both glow in the dark. I'll show a picture, of course, for normal and glow in the dark right up here. And this one is also going to be an exclusive to Walgreens, just like the Invisible Man. Probably going to be around the same ballpark too. Not going to be too crazy to hard to find. Not going to be too expensive. Just going to be uh, uncommon, pretty much. Next, we have Stephen King with the Red Balloon. Because if you guys didn't know, Stephen King is the author who wrote the books. It. Uh, he has a lot of different horror books that he's made. Um, this one is a really cool one. Personally, I don't like collecting authors that much. Um, there's only certain ones that I would personally get. Uh, but this one is going to be exclusive to FYE. So if you guys want to get this one, you will have to go to FYE to get this one. It's not going to be one that's just available at FYE. So this one is 
actually an exclusive. <laughs> Next, we have Pop Myths. This one was released, uh, I believe, on the Pop website. This one is going to be a six inch and it is, yeah, a Funko Shop limited edition. Uh, it is really cool. It's the Kraken and it's holding, it looks like a Roman or Viking ship and it's t one of its tentacles. Personally, I love the Kraken and I love like myths. I'm really big into Greek mythology and stuff like this. Um, so I actually haven't picked this one up yet, but if it is still available, I do want to pick this one up and I think it's a really cool one. I'm just trying to figure out the space on where I can put my stuff right now. So I've got to figure that out first and then maybe I'll pick it up. But this one is definitely a cool one and the Funko Shop exclusives do tend to go up in price for the most part. Some of them might not, but I feel like this one will because it is a very good uh, pop. And the Kraken is very well known. Almost everyone knows about the Kraken. Come on. Next, we're going to have John Winger. He is from Stripes. Um, this one is not an exclusive at all. Just a casual release. Just going to be a common, I'm pretty sure. On the Funko website, it already has it available at Amazon, FYE, Hobby Lobby, or sorry, Hobby DB, Target, all the different ones. So it's going to be real easy to find. Not going to be too hard. It's going to be just a common. Next, new One Punch Man pops. I know one of my friends is really excited about this. He loves One Punch Man. It's his absolute favorite show. And we have Garu, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. This one is a Funko specialty series. And it is going to be a glow in the dark version where his yellow eyes glow in the dark and the blue energy from him moving his arms. It kind of like shows or like showing movement, I guess. Uh, those are going to glow in the dark as well. This one is a really cool one. Uh, personally, I like the pop itself. I think it's well made. Uh, the hair with a different contrast of the yellow eyes and the blue movement. I think it looks really well, especially with the glow in the dark. You guys can see it right here. Personally, I haven't actually seen One Punch Man though, so this isn't one I'm going to be picking up, but if you guys wanted to pick it up, it is a specialty series for Funko, so you guys can check that one out. Then we also have the original One Punch Man, where it's just uh, a normal Garu, not glow in the dark, just normal black eyes. He still has that blue movement, but it does not glow in the dark at all. And it's not exclusive at all. So this one's just going to be a common. It already shows that it's available at FYE. So if you guys wanted to pick this one up, if you couldn't get the specialty series, by all means, not too different. Still a really cool pop. Next, we're going into more of the uh, Funko Ween in May. We have two Beetlejuice pops. We have Barbara Maitland with uh, her mouth wide open. That's a... Uh, I always loved Beetlejuice with uh, these two characters. They always... Were very interesting let's just say that i saw beetlejuice when i was a kid so it scared me but i'm not too scared of them now of course uh, and then we also have adam maitland where he has uh, all his eyes on his fingers you can see that right there these ones are not exclusives they're available at fye already um, probably going to be available at most places i don't think they're going to be too hard to find just going to be normal commons again most of these aren't too hard uh, i think probably the hardest one is going to be the kraken or the specialty series garu Next, we have a new uh, ad icon. We have the Fanta Clown. This one is a Funko Shop exclusive. Um, ad icons that are Funko Shop exclusives always go up in price. So if these are still available on the Funko Shop, I suggest probably picking one up. They're probably gonna go up in price yet again. Um, everyone, a lot of people try and make the ad icon set. And for some reason, these ones are one of the ones that go up in price the most. Probably because the old school pops where they had the old school ad icons uh, add to the value of the entire set being together more. So it makes it an, a lot a lot more desirable set, I guess. And finally, the last one that they have released since uh, the start of Funkoween in May, sorry, <laughs> uh, is going to be the Glow in the Dark Iron Maiden 4 set. So it has Iron Maiden, Killers, The Number of the Beast, and Peace of Mind Eddie. This one is an exclusive to Alliance Entertainment. Personally, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm guessing it's maybe the record label that has Iron Maiden and they're selling it on their website. Not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. 
Um, these ones are pretty cool though. Only gonna be for like diehard Iron Maiden fans. I know one of my friends, he has an Iron Maiden pop. He might want to pick these four up because it's one set with all four in it. Um, personally, I don't think this one's gonna be too hard to find though. If you really want to find it, just go to the um, Alliance Entertainment, whatever that is. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I know most of the exclusives that they put in here, but this one is a bit of an enigma for me. So, uh, yeah, so there's that one, Glow in the Dark, and the Glow in the Dark is actually really cool on these ones. So, like, for the first guy, you have the hair and the uh, jeans that light up. Second guy, it's his eyes and, like, almost looks like his skull. So it's, like, lighting up in his pores of his head, like, through his hair. And then the other one, it's his eyes and the flame he's holding. And then the last one is his eyes, his straight jacket, and the chain around his neck. Um, personally, I think this is just a really cool glow in the dark set. I'm not gonna get this one personally because again, I'm not a big fan of Iron Maiden. I actually don't even know if I've listened to an Iron Maiden song. Uh, don't hate me, Bailey. But um, yeah, so those are gonna be all the different ones that they've released so far. Um, Thank you guys so much for tuning in for the first episode of the Funko Popcast. Um, yeah, like, I mean, we did it. Number episode one is done. Um, this is going to be a weekly thing, guys. So if you guys want to subscribe and come back and check out next week, or maybe just wait, come back, check out next week, or like it again, then subscribe by all means. Uh, I'm going to be putting one video out a week basically just going over all the weekly ones that got released maybe there won't be so many that would get released so it might not be as long as a video it's gonna vary because i mean funko releases what they want when they want and these ones uh this one i had a lot because they were doing all the funko ween so yeah thank you guys again so much for watching and see you guys later